This is Twit. In a bit of we should definitely have seen this coming news, a group of Windows enthusiasts who hang out over in the My Digital Life forum have come up with something they call Bypass ESU Utility, where ESU stands for Extended Security Updates. I have the link, and if anyone is curious, in the show notes. Uh, so two months before it'll even be needed, we already have a hack to trick Windows 7 and 8 into continuing to receive another three years of security updates after the otherwise final January 14th Patch Tuesday next month. So the story goes, last month, Microsoft released a test Windows 7 ESU update. That was KB4528069. It allowed IT administrators to to start the verification process that their systems would be compatible with the upcoming ESU, the extended security updates process. And I have also a link in the show notes, show notes to that update. And so there are a couple of interesting points in here. In their summary describing the update, they said this optional non-security update will help you verify that your eligible Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 devices can continue to get extended security updates after the end of support date of January 14th, 2020. So let's see, they said no, no security content. Uh, this, is, this update is a test package. We recommend that you deploy in your test environment. Install this update on your on-premise devices that are eligible for extended security updates. This update can be installed on X64-based architecture uh, for Windows Server 2008 R2 uh, and also either 86 or X64-based for Windows 7 SP1. Uh, they said this update is, is not applicable for Windows 7 Virtual Desktop, the WVD, and Windows 7 Embedded. Uh, installing this update has no impact on getting security updates between now and January 14th. So it's only for a continuation. Uh, and so under installation instructions, install the update from one of the release channels, such as Microsoft Update Catalog, meaning that anybody can do that. Uh, and then they said for prerequisites, you must have the following installed on your on-premise device before you apply this update. They said install the following SHA2 code signing support and servicing stack update. And then there's a link to that. Of course, we've talked about that. That's where some months ago, Microsoft stopped dual signing the updates so that, I think it was this summer, uh, so that the newer updates are only being signed with SHA2, not also uh, SHA1. So you would obviously you would need that in order if you in order to I mean and everybody probably already has that. Uh, and that creates the SHA2 code signing support. Uh, they uh, you're supposed to have the servicing stack update uh, and there's another uh, knowledge base article from March 12th. Um, and uh, be up to date with the monthly roll-up. And then the last one is install and activate the ESU key. For information about how to install and activate the ESU key, see how to get extended security updates for eligible Windows devices blog on the Microsoft Tech Community website. So what happened was some guys went in and they figured out basically how to short circuit this ESU key requirement. So just to be clear, you know, doing this violates licenses. It's, it's technically against the law. So, you know, that's, that hasn't kept people, for example, for decades of figuring out how to create, uh, you know, hacked Windows OS installation key checks. Uh, that's, that, that's a hack that's been around forever. So, and also, this is 
the kind of thing that Microsoft will likely respond to. So I wouldn't expect this by this particular bypass ESU tool crack is what it essentially it is to work forever. I expect that if I mean, and it'll be interesting to see with how much fervor Microsoft pushes back on this, whether they're going to say, wait a minute, you know, we don't want, you know, hackers to be continuing to get uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 updates. You know, basically, if you're not an enterprise who's paying for them, you know, you need to do that. So anyway, it'll, uh, we'll keep our eye on this. It, again, I, I just sort of chuckled when I saw, okay, well, yeah, I figures that some hobbyists would figure out how to do this. Uh, and so we'll see if this is going to be a cat and mouse game. Microsoft will patch it. Somebody will come up with a way around it again, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I did note sort of the irony of the fact that Microsoft if they were to defeat this ESU bypass, would have to do it with an update, which, of course, is what the ESU bypass allows you to receive. So <laughs> if you've got the ESU bypass installed, then you're able to get the update from Microsoft, which probably breaks it and causes you to no longer be able to get any more updates. So maybe the thing to do is just to say, OK, fine, I'll, you know, I'll upgrade to Windows 10. We talked about how that can still be done for free last week.